everybody. Welcome back to A Late Show. Let's check in with my friend and yours, the sound, the future of America, Mr. John Baptiste. John, how are you? I'm, I'm well. How was your weekend? Uh, it was fine. It was fine. It rained, but everything, everything was great. Mm. Hey, I, I want to ask you about your weekend. You did this thing where you're, you're helping to power up New York's art scene again. I read about this in the Washington Post what did y'all do this weekend? We played at the Javits Center for the essential workers. The band and I and, and Iodeli Cassell, tap dancer, Anthony Roth Casanza, a, a countertenor. We played for the essential workers and people who were getting their vaccines. And um, it's a part of a 100-day festival that Governor Cuomo called us to be a part of. And I'm, uh, I'm going to be popping up as, as well as a few other great artists and musicians. So it'd be great. Um, countertenor, that's like super high, right? That's very high. It's, so, it's how, like a... How high could a countertenor hit? Give me a, give me the note there. A uh, countertenor is probably, uh, somewhere... Is that it? Yeah, th right in, that's the highest range, D, D to A. Oh! Wait, let me it. hear you. Let me hear you. Wow. That's also the timbre you got. Thank you. That's my hey. counter timbre. Oh. <laughs> John Baptiste, everybody. We'll yes. see you. Bye. Folks, I spent a lot of time hewing the finest topical news stones from the nearby information quarry, hiring the most cutting-edge architects to employ a complex series of ramps and pulleys to delicately deposit them with inch-perfect precision to create for you the epic, awe-inspiring pyramid of Khufu that is my monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, I like to just grab a rusty shovel, dig a hole in a culvert, fill it with roadkill bones, old bicycles, and yesterday's coffee grinds, then top it off with some used cat litter, powdered lime, and quick-drying concrete to seal the ramshackle burial chamber of news that is my segment. Quarantine wise. Burial chamber. <laughs> Quarantine while the world's first 3D printed ribeye has been unveiled. Mmm. Mmm. That sure looks like a computer's idea of meat. I always ask the waiter, is the steak damp tonight? <laughs> is the steak damp tonight? How damp is it? The process involves growing meat tissues from <laughs> Punch biopsies from live or slow slaughtered animals. Then printing living cells that are incubated in a plant-based matrix to grow what some call alt meat. Not to be confused with the underground beefcake mag I pose for as my side hustle. <laughs> It'll be a while before you can buy the steaks because according to reports, the USDA and FDA don't yet have a regulatory framework to bring it to market, which, which is legal speak for, we don't know. <laughs> which is legal speak for, what is that? I don't know what that is. Kill it, kill it with fire! And then give me a slice. Quarantine while. While BlizzCon, the annual gaming convention, people know what BlizzCon is. You don't need to tell people Blizz. That's, that's patronizing. Was held over the weekend, and they booked Metallica to play. Just one problem. While Blizzard cleared the rights to stream their music, the hosting platform Twitch didn't, and partway through the song, they panicked and switched the music. It's subtle, but see if you can spot the moment it happens. Girl, are you delivering food in New York? Because that was seamless. <laughs> Mwah! But I can sympathize. You see, uh, I just had Metallica on my show two weeks ago, and CBS forgot to clear the rights to enter Sandman. So they had to scramble to sub in the closest thing they could find at the last second.
Oh, oh my. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Yeah. Quarantine while, there's big news for people who have ears because Barack Obama and Bruce Springsteen announced a new podcast called Renegades Born in the USA. Well, yeah, we know Obama was, but Bruce still hasn't released his long form birth certificate. Now, I'm excited about this, partially because it'll be a fascinating conversation between two American icons, but mostly because of the part of every podcast where the host has to start plugging their sponsors. I can't wait to hear Bruce saying, Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? Did he go to the post office and leave you all alone? Oh, tell your mom. Oh, stamps.com. We'll be right back with Bill Gates.